Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Messages from Above with Tony G. Tony is a world-renowned psychic medium. She has had the gift of being a psychic medium and channel her entire life. Tony hosts two TV shows, Create a Life You Love and Psychic Medium Tony G. She is also the author of five books. Being a healer and a hypnotist as well, it is her purpose and her passion to help you in every way she can. Phone lines are open now. Call in 858-365-5593 and let Tony answer your questions about life love, finances, or help you connect with a loved one on the other side. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody, and thank you for being here with me. I am so grateful to share this space with you. I want to thank everybody for listening Um, When I look on my stats for the show, I notice there's a lot of people from other countries that listen to the show. So Israel, France, and some other countries. I want to thank you all for, uh, for tuning in and taking the time to listen. I really do appreciate that. It's such an honor to share this space with each and every one of you in the U.S. and every place else. So. We're going to get started in a second. I just want to make a few announcements. Really amazing stuff coming up. So uh, as you know, I just published my sixth book authored and, well, channeled and authored and published my sixth book, What If? A Transformational Guide. And reviews are coming back, and they are amazing. People are loving this book. And I'm really grateful for that. I don't really take credit for the book because I channeled it. But I'm grateful that people are having those light bulb moments, those epiphany moments where they're like, oh, my gosh, what if? Like, because the book is, it, it poses a what if question and then gives you space to write out if this were true, not it is true or it is not true, but just like, for example, if this is true, how would I live my life? What would I change in my life? And so one of one of the what ifs, I'm going to give away a what if right now, what if? the plane that we live on, because I believe there are planes, many planes or dimensions. What if the dimension we live on now is a dimension of heaven and all the dimensions are dimensions of heaven and you're already in heaven. You're already in one of the levels of heaven. Then what if that, like, how does your life change? How, where do you go from there then? Because it takes all that fear out, right? And there's so much fear today. There's so much fear with, with so many different things. But if you're already in a level of heaven and you're only going up from here, that takes so much anxiety and fear out. And then, and then how do you live your life? What pressure does that take off of your shoulders? And, and how do you, how, how do you uh, go, go from there, basically? So all of the what-ifs are on all different categories and just just amazing. Um, my sister, who is younger than me, 10 years younger than me, and my niece, who is 19, um, helped me edit the book. So there's, there's three different, like 19, and then my sister, and then myself, and a couple of other people who looked through the book. And it's every age group, even, even my 19-year-old niece was like, this is really good. As she was editing the what if, she's like, I really like this one. Oh, no, I like this one. Okay, I really like this one. Oh, I love this one. So even I was like so amazingly joyful at the fact that my 19-year-old niece was really digging this book and that it, it would be good for anybody who is like of that age group probably as well as mine and my sisters and um, and other age groups that, 
that were uh, looking through the book and perusing it. It is available on Amazon.com. And I'm going to let the book go now and tell you my next bit of news, which is I am going to be on the show. I'm going to be interviewed on the show Real People. I will be doing my interview on August 1st, which I cannot tell you how pleased. I, I'm just so excited. So a couple months ago, I received an award for psychic medium Tony G., and at the award ceremony, uh, the woman, it was it was all the TV shows of the Midwest, the Midwest Best Award Ceremony. And this uh, Stephanie, who hosts Real People in Minnesota, was at the show, and she, she saw me. She's like, I need to have you on my show. And so now we've, we've finalized the date, and that's going to be August um, August 1st, and I will I will keep you, everybody posted as to when that's going to air, but super, super, super excited. Ah! And I'm working on two more books, another book of poems and another book that is exceptionally, like as soon as I was done with the what if book, there were so many more what ifs that I started working on. But then another concept came in from above, and they're like, you need to write this. And I said... Got it. I'll do it. I, I always say God is my boss and the angels are my, my partners or my coworkers. Um, they, they, of course, are CEOs and I'm just an employee, but I love that status and I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. So I'm here every single Monday at noon and then once a month on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. And the Tuesday at 1 o'clock is actually my show, Psychic Medium Tony G, that airs on WSBS. You can join me on any of those those venues, all of those gen- venues. Just hit that little follow button, and uh, you will be then uh, notified every time there's a show, and you can call in and uh, join me, and uh, hopefully I will get to you and answer your question. If I don't get to you today, please call back as soon as like at the next available show, and I will try to get you. My little my little thing I tell people is um, you have to call in 15 minutes before the show starts. What That's when they you, – you can't call in 16 minutes because they'll hang up on you. Even if I call in 16 minutes as the host, they say call back in fit, when there's 15 minutes to the show. And um, – <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you call 15 minutes, you'll be one of the first callers in the queue. And I, I, there's a better chance of me getting to you. Now, there have been people who have called in for five months, and I finally get to them. And I apologize. I know that there are my, – my, my switchboard is always full. But a lot of times, the question I answer for one person is also relevant for somebody who I don't get to. Also, I try to do clearings so that everybody listening – Everybody calling in, they get at least a clearing or a healing for the day. So today's clearing that we're going to start with is uh, I'm hearing luck and money. And those are two things that are always really important for everybody, that financial situation. So I'm going to say um, there's something stopping or blocking finances from coming in and opening up, and I get a definite yes on that. So we're going to clear that now for everybody listening. Now, Oh, that kind of takes my breath away. So if you feel like something just like took your breath away or you had to take a deep breath, that's it's working on you. It is working on you. You might feel your body sway back and forth. You might feel like, oh, it's hard to catch breath, perfectly normal. Any feelings you're having right now, the Holy Spirit is working on you. I want to say you can re-listen to this show, and every time you re-listen to it, it'll, it'll clear this and any other clearings that I do for anybody calling in. I'm going to start taking callers now. I want you to know that. Please uh, tell me where you're from and what's your name. And then we're going to do one question or one connection just because there are so many people calling in. I want to make sure I can get to as many people as possible. And I think one question or connection is fair. So the very first, excuse me, the very first caller is 780. Oopsie, hold on. I hit the mic, but it didn't. There you go. Hello, 780. How are you today? Good, Tony, and congratulations on your new adventure. Thank you. And what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yeah, it's uh, Jay calling from Canada. 
Jay, it's wonderful to hear from you. How can I help you today? Yeah, just a connection with uh, my mother. Um, I know she's maybe trying to get hold of me somehow, too. And also, I've got to ask if it's the right decision to uh, invest the money or take a schooling class that will actually bring me more money than in my investments. Okay. Okay. Uh, no investments. Take the class. And I'm getting your mother stepping in. W- was she very thin in the end? Yes, she died of cancer, so I didn't see her when she passed on. Okay. I'm so sorry. She's stepping in, but there's a gentleman behind her also that is stepping in with her. And he's of the same, kind of of the same age. So I'm feeling like he's very close to her. He was very close to her. Um, this could be husband, father. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not asking that right now, but I see him stepping in. Mm-hmm. And then the way the way it happens is like they're literally coming down from the light to say hello to me. So I see them coming in through my ceiling. And I see her first. She's leading the way. And then this gentleman is like to her left, right, right next to her, but one step behind her. And then to, to the right of her, further behind are other people, but I'm asking them to hold off and not come in because we don't want to have 30 people coming in that we're <laughs> you know, getting messages from people we don't even, like we're not in that communication space with them. So what I'm going to tell you right now is um, the first thing your mother wants to say is, <laughs> it's funny, it's cute. I love that she goes, hello from heaven, <laughs> hello from heaven. <laughs> and then uh, she has this beautiful smile. And although I saw her come in looking very ill or or like like she did probably when she passed, she's showing me another vision of her rejuvenated and younger now, and this is the truth, this is the truth, this is the truth is what she says. Don't think of me in that way that I was when I passed because this is how I am now, refreshed, rejuvenated. Um, she's very, very, very beautiful. And she is saying that she has um, she has been trying to connect with you, but you're not listening to her. You're not having that that time like you're second guessing you're double checking you're second guessing you don't you don't you don't know how how to make the decision you need to make because you're thinking is it going to go awry is this the right thing so i'm going to test you right now i'm going to say um he's capable of making decisions for his life and i i get a no but don't feel badly about that we're all like that we want to make sure we don't make a mistake. There are no mistakes. There's just course corrections. So I'm going to clear you to be able to make very powerful, profound decisions and know that they're the right one to take that indecisiveness. And I feel that hitting like my whole upper body. Like, And it starts at the sternum and works its way out. So you're going to feel like absolutely within a month, but even within this week, you're going to feel stronger about your decision-making abilities, at least you should. And again, anybody listening or re-listening can can get this clearing too, and they may feel the same effects. I'm going to tell you, you feel like you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, and that you are having difficulty in many areas of your life, not just this. Uh, things are going to lighten up for you by August. You just have to, like, be firm in your choices and be ready to uh, move forward. Um, don't, uh, the statement I'm getting from somebody up above is don't look for the easy way. Look for the gratifying way. Like, go that gratifying route. And make sure that you're uh, always fulfilling a purpose or evolving your circumstances, okay? So that that should help with the taking the class thing, too, and knowing what to do in that situation, okay, Jay? Okay. That, how, does that sound good to you? It sounds great. Thank you much for the messages. And I, I need to ask you now, I need to ask you, because a lot of times I give messages and I'm channeling and I'm, I'm like, God, I hope this makes make sense. Does this make sense? Does this feel like the right answer that you knew that this was the way to go, but you just needed confirmation? Yes. Yes. Good. Okay, good. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, m- mom and, and the, the male with her are saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. 
uh, we're beside you, we're we're next to you, we're beside you, and we're 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 beside you, in front of you, and behind you. We're, we 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 are encompassing you with love and light, and we'll always be there for you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing an amazing rest of the week, and I look forward to hearing from you again. Yes, it's always great to hear from you too, and always great talking to you. You're amazing too. You're amazing. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going directly to the next caller, who is two seven zero. Hello, two seven zero. How are you today? I'm good. Hello, Tony. This is Joyce from Kentucky. Okay, can you pull the phone a little closer to your your mouth because it sounds a little broken up, and I want to make sure I hear you perfectly clearly, and I want to make sure I get everything right for you. So, what's what's your question today? Thank you so much for calling uh, in, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm hoping to move from my apartment to a house. Um, there's a really tiny house right next to my brother, and my question is, should I ask the landlord to hold it for me, or will something else better become available soon? That's my question. And that's a really good, you know what, as soon as you should, said, should I ask the landlord, I heard yes. This is a good mm-hmm. house. Um, it's, I hear it's a good property. It's a good property. Um yeah, ask the landlord if I'll hold it. I, you need to get on it right away. I feel like it's it's going to be a really good thing for you. Okay. So how? So don't. Um, yeah, I'm just kidding. Don't don't hesitate. Okay, don't hesitate because it, okay. if you miss this, don't worry. Something else will come along. But ask the landlord to hold it for you. Okay, work out. He's going to want you to negotiate something out with him, but it'll all work out in the end. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You're you're welcome, and have an amazing Fourth of July. You too. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is, uh, I believe that's 865. Hello, 865. How are you? Hi, Tony. I'm good. Thank you. This is Len. I'm in uh, California. And I want to connect. Uh, like, hi there. <laughs> I like to connect <laughs> with my grandmother. <laughs> okay. So was your grandmother a little bit fuller? I'm sorry, was she white? Full, fuller. Oh like yeah, a, yes, a, she was. Okay, mm-hmm. this is her. She's right, she's like right in front of me. She like wasted no time. She's like yeah, of course. right in, in front of me. She's like I'm here. She's a this. very solid. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna tell you, she's a very solid woman. She is very strong. She was a like yes. a no like her demeanor was a, like a no. Uh, I want to get these words right. They're they're like a no <laughs> mince meat. No mince meat to me. Yes. I don't even know that I'm getting that right. Okay, so do you <laughs> I have know. a specific question for your grandma, or yes. do you just want me to? I do. Yes. What's your question? Well, I I do because um yes I know that I'm I'm uh, going back to the location uh, where my grandmother was from, and I've been hearing uh, for July, and I like to know um, is this week uh, the week for the big. Um, the big change, uh, is this the week for the big change? Because I've been hearing uh, for July. Okay, I feel like next week. So I okay. hear next, I hear next, next, next. So I feel, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to phrase this differently to her. I'm going to ask it, and it's not, is it this week? No. Is it the, the week of the 8th? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm asking. I'm go. I'm looking at my calendar that's in front of me, and I'm asking, "Is this the week of the eighth? And I get a mm-hmm. Okay. That's exactly how okay. she, she goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and then when okay. I say the fifteenth, I get a solid no. The twenty second is a possibility. So whatever starts on the eighth is going to continue to 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 happen on the twenty second. But the eighth is the strongest. Twenty ninth, I get a no. So the eighth and the twenty second, mm-hmm. I get a. The eighth, I get a mm-hmm, and the twenty second mm-hmm. yeah. is not strong, so don't count on that. It's just the week of the eighth. Right. I would say whatever you're going right. to do, do it the week of the eighth. It's going to be really solid. Yes. Now, I will add to you to this. 
I don't know about astrology, so I'm going to let something come out of my mouth. And if you ask a question about it, I'm going to have to go, I have no idea. You have to look this up. There is an okay. eclipse, and I'm going to go. I'm actually going to walk and get my other book because I, I got yes. it from last month's horoscope, but there's an yeah. eclipse tomorrow. Everybody listening, yes. check your horoscope. Yes. See, because I'm, a, I'm a Capricorn. Yeah, I'm a Capricorn, yes, and, and there is an eclipse coming uh, for Capricorn. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, I'm going to tell up, yeah. you, there's two mm-hmm. eclipses. They, they happen two weeks apart or a month apart, whatever it is. I feel like this is yeah. two weeks yeah. apart. Is this one two weeks? Yep. There's one, there's one tomorrow, and then there's one on the 16th. Now, for every sign, it affects you differently. So you have to, if you like astrology, Get into yes. it. Go look and and look at your 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 astrology or a horoscope and see how it's going to affect you. But eclipses are really good because they bring out the hidden. Now, if you go tomorrow for the next two, I mean, if you go next week, you know, this eclipse is going to be in full effect still. So yes. I feel like yes. next week the eclipse will still be in effect. You're going to have now, please. All callers, I'm going to tell you, I do not know astrology. I can barely figure out my own horoscope <laughs> when I read it. Like when they say Jupiter, planet, or planet of gifts, I'm like, buy a lottery ticket. No, that's not. They never mean that. They never mean that. That is never what they mean for me. Um, but I jump to my own things for for that too. But I'm going to tell you, the yes. week of the eighth looks really strong. Okay, yes. she wants to say she's she is like nodding her head yes, and she's going mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That, that sounds like her. Yeah, yes. And then she <laughs> is showing me this huge like a smile on her face, and she wants you to know mm-hmm. she's going to be there in a bold way. You're going to sense her, yes. you're going to feel her, you're going to understand her in a way you've never understood oh, yeah. her before, and you're going to be really quite uh, happy about that. Um, you're awesome. going to have a, some vivid dreams next week, and just pay attention to that. Yeah. They're all little indicators, yeah. okay? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Thank, no, thank you. you. Bless thank you. you. Bless, uh, bless you. Too. And I Bye-bye. can't wait to hear about this after the fact, Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. I am going directly to 860. I'm having so much fun on this show today. Thank you all for calling in. I'm not even Southern, and listen to me. Thank you all. Thank you so much for calling in. 860, how are you today? Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? It's Amla. How are you? Amla. See, this is such a great show. Some new, some people. It some is. Of course. Of course. Of course. Some new people. Is, I'm like, what's going on? Okay, so I'm going to get right into the question. Um, Good. I have been so busy. Um, it's it just everything's coming to fruition. Um, my book is finally going to be uh, in people's hands in September, which is so achievable. Okay, wait. So I'm excited stop. for that. Um, and what's the name I think of your book? I, stop, I, stop, 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 stop. What's the name of your book? Can I call in another time and tell you? Because I just want to have the copyright for sure. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. Okay, you can. I have, I was I trying have to it. I promote your book, and now I can't. So, okay, go ahead. What's your question, Bob? What's your question? Okay, so it feels like everything is coming together. Do you see me with Mr. Right for me? You said August, sometime July, August. I was wondering if you can give me details on this person because I really feel like everything's going to happen for me at the same time. Yeah. With the book and everything. You know what? I, yeah. can, I can give you what I can give you. Some things are meant to be a surprise, and if I tell you certain things, you'll focus in on that, and it can be misinterpreted. Okay. I'm going to tell okay. you end of July, beginning of August. Um, around the 18th, you're going to feel a great deal of excitement coming in, okay? Okay. Um, yeah. And, and and you're going to know you're close to something. Now, as I turn my page, I'm not even going to look at the book. I want to close my eyes and see what okay. they show me as far as the, 20, the 23rd. And then, that, again, um, I just want to tell you, like, through that whole time from the end of, end of July into yes. mid-August is going to be 
almost supernatural for you, but in a good supernatural way. You're going to have a lot of epiphanies, a lot of light opening, a lot of shifting for you personally. A lot of, you've done a lot of lessons or personal growth, and you're going to feel the rewards of it from, I want to say, the 18th through the 15th of next month. And yes. I want you to know that, like, that there is a man coming in. Now, I don't, I don't like to say he's the ever after man. I will say, however, he is a significant man in your life, and there's going to be some significant uh, relationship stuff going on. Every relationship is to help us grow, learn, and, and yes. the lesson is always love. So there's going to be a lot of um, growth between now and then and in in and and understanding of the growth that you've gone through and right at the smack dab beginning of august i want to say it's the first or the second this guy should pop in right around that time it could be as late as the fifth but i want to say that really pay attention the first or the second be out about uh, you're going to meet this guy coincidentally that's just the word they're using please don't ask me to elaborate on that and this guy is going to be um having some you're going to have to you're going to have to teach, I don't want to say teach him to respect you but there's something with respect here and it might be self okay. respect so you're going to have to like hold he's not a bad guy like right. something happens that maybe there's a little misunderstanding and whatever this is it's like yes. one of those funny, cute, quirky stories that you get to tell people in the long run. Okay. This, okay. And, but you have to, you have to call. They're saying, call him on it. Call him on it. Call him on it. Yes. So if he does or says something, call him on it. And we don't have to be like, listen, jack o' lantern. You're nothing but a <laughs> fudgesicle. We don't have yes. to be like. We don't have to call people on the, on it like that. We can simply right. say, excuse me, but. And then, and that's more effective. That is always the more yeah. effective way to go. I'm going to tell you, the first and the second look very strong for you. But we all know how this works. You have to be open. Timelines yeah. can change depending yeah. on what's going on in our life and if we're at that right space for it. Um, but I do yeah. feel like the first and the second are going to pop so hard for you. You're just going to be like. Gleaming and beaming, okay? So just get yeah. out there. You're going to be very proud of yourself. You're going to be very proud of where you are with things. This whole month is about personal growth and reward for you. Um, oh. Staying in that space of spirit, staying out of that space of ego, letting go of fear, letting go of fear, letting go of fear, letting go of fear. And they want to say it 10 more times, but I'm only giving them one more, letting go of fear. Um, yeah. You have a lot of as much as you're putting this book out and you, you're ready for that, you have a lot of fear. Let go and let, yes, let God, I let do. the angels. You like, like see a million angels and put your book in each angel's hand. Oh, this is really good. I'm going to do this with my book. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. Uh, put, put the book in each angel's hand and then say, okay, take it to the person you need to get it to. Everybody, I'm doing that tonight just to let you know I'm – Jumping in on that exercise, <laughs> even though it's for Emma. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, oh, I only have 90 seconds. Don't hang up, everybody. I'm going to do another clearing. I have 90 seconds left. So, so just this is all about uh, all growth, getting things done in July, and then the beginning of August, you're going to be ready to go. So for everybody listening, I want to do another clearing. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. To everybody, take a slow, deep breath in. And here we go. <sighs> I want everybody's clear, everybody's unclear. Uh, everybody's, let's go back to finances again because finances are booming again in my head, finances and lack. People feel a sense of lack, and I go forward. We're going to clear that lack into abundance. Ooh, and it hits me in the throat. Oh, my goodness gracious, I want to cry for everybody on the line right now. If everybody is feeling a little emotional or lack is huge, I'm just going to say, because I only have a couple seconds left, don't hang up, everybody. I want to say I love you so much, everybody. Thank you so much for calling in. Amla, get to work and don't stop until August 1st comes. I will be back here next Monday at noon to take your calls.
And thank yes. you, everybody. And I want to know, like, everybody, do you feel these clearings? Listen to the show. Listen to the show. Stand up, face north, and let these clearings work on you because they are powerful. This is the Holy Spirit coming in and doing this for you. And I cannot wait until next week, everybody. Have an amazing 4th of July. Thank you.